Stories of ICE raids and families being torn apart because of deportation have sparked fear in immigrant communities. We feel the need to educate our community on knowing their rights in the event of a raid. A group of parents with kids in schools with large Latino populations took action. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrian Moore. They're holding a forum hoping valuable information on immigrant rights won't get lost in translation. CBS 13's Elisa Becerra joins us now from Woodland, where this meeting is already underway. This is really about seeing a need in the community and filling it, not just at the school, but at the entire community. The forum is free and it's open, all because of some parents who took a grassroots approach about getting answers to immigration questions. We feel the need to educate our community on knowing their rights in the event of a raid. Rumors of ICE raids at homes and at schools across the country have bred fear in communities like Woodland. So parents at Beamer Elementary School wanted education to reach beyond the classroom and into their community. We want to make sure that we act as a community, that we are together working to make sure that our students are in a safe haven zone. Parents are hosting an immigration forum with contributors from the public defender's office to the Mexican consulate and beyond. Assemblywoman Cecilia Aguia represents that district and will be attending. She says it's about calming fears and giving good information. You know, when a child is nervous and the family's nervous and they send a child with a backpack full of clothing because if the parents got uh, taken away or something happened, um, that's really fearful. And I don't need that happening. Nobody wants that. Principal Georgina Yamas Cruz has seen that fear firsthand and the effects it can have on the very young. Some students coming forward and expressing their concerns, their worries about family members. Part of their education now has to be explaining laws and rights to family members while trying to feel safe. Um, we made sure that the students knew that this was a safe learning environment, safe place for them to come. Organizers say that they've gotten calls from people who don't have anything to do with the school asking if they can attend the APSER for them. Absolutely. Back to you. All right, Lisa, thanks very much. Uh, report from Woodland tonight. City